greetings all welcome to our english class i hope you must have buckled up for your terminals and started putting your attempts for the forthcoming exams children you need to stay in touch with all the forwarded video lectures and also keep practicing the different worksheets based on the provided course have you been doing just introspect yourself by asking this question to yourself well if your answer is not you still have time to practice recap and move forward enthusiastically so let's continue with our next lesson of english grammar the continuous tense after getting through the introduction of tenses and simple forms of present tense past tense and future tense we have to revise the next kind of tenses what is that three kinds of continuous tense the first is present continuous tense second is past continuous tense and the third is future continuous tense in the previous video lectures i have taught you the structures usage and their examples so those who have not understood it clearly they are requested to recap them first and then proceed further with these all the exercises so let's start this video is based exclusively on the practice of continuous forms of present past and future tense this will help you to recap all the like and familiar structures of the second kind of the present past and future tenses hence by the end of the video you will be able to experience a strengthened conceptual hold over the second of the three kinds of tenses so are you ready to challenge yourself for answering questions let's start off my dear students exercise 1 filling the blanks by using the verbs in simple present and present continuous tense to complete the sentences the verbs to be used are given in the brackets so children what you have to do in this exercise you will read the sentences and then you will focus on the verbs which are given in the brackets and then accordingly you will write the appropriate form of the verb if it is required to be written in the simple present or present continuous tense let's start with number 1 sentence every monday ashok dash drive which is given in the bracket his kids to badminton practice number 2 john read which is a verb given in the bracket here a book right now jack and hema dash work it's a verb given in the bracket late today number 4 how many students dash you study given in the bracket with question mark number 5 the phone dash not ring which is a verb given in the bracket so after reading the verbs you have to write them accordingly in the appropriate form number 6 i am sorry i can't hear what you dash say because everybody dash talk so loudly here say and talk are the verbs given in the brackets number 7 these chocolates 
dash b made by my mother here b is a verb given in the bracket number 8 i hate living in seattle because it dash rain always the rain is a verb given in the bracket that has to be changed number 9 look at the dash work in the garden here the work is a verb which is provided in the bracket number 10 and the last sentence of this exercise is she usually dash work during the weekends but this week it's different so the work provided in the bracket is work exercise 2 fill in the blanks by using the verbs in simple past and past continuous tense to complete the sentences the verbs to be used are given in the brackets now number 1 is i dash the verb given in the bracket is read when the lights dash go out number 2 my father dash drive which is a verb given in the bracket when his phone dash ring the is another verb given in the second blank number 3 james dash repair his car number 4 julia dash do her homework at 8 o'clock number 5 i dash jog in the park went to squirrels dash cross my way here the verbs are jog and cross number 6 karen dash burn her hand when she dash iron her clothes the verbs given in the bracket are burn and iron number 7 the girls dash learn their lessons the verb given is learn in this seventh sentence number 8 the wind dash blow fiercely number 9 while she dash speak on the phone the milk dash boil over the verbs given in the brackets are speak and boil number 10 when i dash leave the house this morning the sun dash shine brightly so the verbs given in the brackets are leave and shine children i hope you have understood what you have to do in this question you have to use the verbs in simple past and past continuous tense to complete the sentences exercise 3 fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verbs in the brackets in the future continuous tense number 1 at 10 i watch the news number 2 mahesh not play all evening number 3 fight or they again question mark number 4 this time next month we have a party number 5 they not do their homework this afternoon number 6 walk you home today question mark number 7 eat she at Six question mark. Number eight. Drive he to Manchester question mark. Number nine. Tonight we learning for our maths test tomorrow. And number ten. And the last sentence of this exercise is at midnight he sleep. So children. you have to see the verbs given in the brackets and use them 
accordingly you may use only and only the future continuous tense it's correction time children i hope you all have done exercises 1 2 and 3 well let's correct all the answers how many you have done correctly and how many you have done wrong so let's check exercise 1 number 1 every monday ashok drives his kids to badminton practice number 2 john is reading a book right now number 3 jack and hema work late today number 4 how many students do you study with question mark number 5 the phone is not ringing number 6 I'm sorry I can't hear what you say because everybody is talking so loudly Number 7 These chocolates are made by my mother Number 8 I hate living in Seattle because it rains always Number 9 Look Andy is working in the garden. Number 10, she usually works during the weekends, but this week it's different. In exercise 2, you have to fill in the blanks by using the verbs in simple past and past continuous tense. to complete the sentences the verbs to be used are given in the brackets i hope you have followed up the instructions well good let's proceed with the answers number 1 i was reading when the lights went out number 2 my father was driving when his phone rang Number 3 James repaired his car Number 4 Julia did her homework at 8 o'clock Number 5 I was jogging in the park when two squirrels crossed my way Number 6 Karen burnt her hand when she was ironing her clothes number 7 the girls were learning their lessons number 8 the wind blew fiercely number 9 while she was speaking on the phone the milk boiled over number 10 when i left the house this morning the sun was shining brightly exercise 3 what you have to do in this exercise you have to fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verbs in the brackets in the future continuous tense in this question children you have to use only one tense what is that future continuous tense let's see the answers of this exercise number 1 at 10 i will be watching the news number 2 mahesh will not be playing all evening number 3 will they be fighting again question mark number 4 this time next month we will be having a party number 5 they will not be doing their homework this afternoon 
Number six. Will you be walking home today? Question mark. Number seven. Will she be eating at six? Question mark. Number eight. Will he be driving to Manchester? Question mark. And number nine. Tonight we will be learning for our math test tomorrow. Number ten. At midnight he will be sleeping. So children, in this learning process, I would really like to re-emphasize on this learning process, which I have adopted for you all. With this, we have concluded thoroughly with the topics of present continuous, past continuous and future continuous tenses. Coming up in the next videos is a set of exercises on the perfect tense form of the present, past and future tenses. You can revise the basics of these tenses from their respective videos to attempt those exercises confidently. I am sure you are enjoying learning English with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day ahead.